Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learning Arabic or Pronunciation. Today we have a grammar lesson that is some kind of related to the pronunciation. You'll know that, it's about da in Arabic. Da is in Arabic is called al or al tarifiya Da the article. Uh, so al um, has a rule for pronouncing it. And this rule uh, is uh, we, we we study it in the grammar so as to know about it. Uh, so I won't make that video long. So let's start to know more about that. First of all, you have to know that we say in English for defining the nouns that. For, for example, we say the bird, the owl, the school, the hour, and so on. So in Arabic, we say the as al. The first alif and them. Okay? Connect to the noun in the same word. Okay? You say in English the bird and the is an article that is separated from the noun. However, Al al for example, the bird, which means in Arabic al is is connected directly to the noun in the same word. They are not separated in two words as in English. Okay. This is the in English. This is the definite article, and this is the bird. This is the noun. Okay. In English, in Arabic, this is. The definite article we call it the al tarifiya. The definite article in Arabic is called al tarifiya, and usfur, which is the noun, okay, or al ism. Al ism means the noun, okay. So that is the the same the small difference between the Arabic and the English in saying that. Now. Um, we say that and the pronunciation may be affected by the presence of um, uh, it's not affected by many factors or uh, even if it is uh, if the pronunciation differs a little bit uh, it's because of the presence of uh, of the hour like the, for example the hour something like that some uh, some uh, layers not all of them however uh, the same goes in Arabic. The pronunciation of L is affected by the first layer of the noun. Okay? Let's see. If the first layer of the noun is stressed, okay, which has a shadda over it, you know, it's called the in Arabic is called El Shamsiya. El Shamsiya, which means the of the sun. al jamsiya means the of the sun in English. Why we call it like that? Because it is stressed like the stress caused by the heat of the sun. Okay, so we call it al jamsiya because you know the, 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 the sun is uh, causing stress by its heat uh, and we we get wet and sweat and, and uh, like that. So we call it al jamsiya. For example, الشمس, الشمس, like that, which means the sun. You see, the first letter, sheen, has a shadda over it, okay, which is the stress. This is in al shamsi. Moving on to al, the unstressed uh, first letter, or the unstressed letter, uh, we call that, the lamb, uh, we call that uh, al qamariya al because in this case the lamb in al has a sukun over it you will see in that example but but you have to know that al al means that of the moon and it's called like that because it is silent as the moon hour or let's say um, calm at the moon okay let's see for example al qamar al qamar you see lamb has a sukun over it uh, and qaf which is the first letter of the noun has a fatha over it which is a short vowel 
So uh, this since the lamb has a sukun over it, we can find uh, that it is silent, or or do you say al qamar, al qamar. There is no stress on pronouncing the first layer. Al qamar means the moon. Okay. So let's we'll start by al shamsi. We have here uh, al shamsi has a meaning. It is the article the in which its lamb letter in it is written but not pronounced. How would that we say ashams? You didn't pronounce lamb where while you pronounce it. You didn't say al shams, you said you said ashams like that. See? Uh, therefore, you can find in Al Ashamsiya the letter, the first letter of the noun is always started by the stress or the shadda. The shadda is the doubling of the layer, and we will discuss the shadda uh, and remind you of it uh, in the lesson. We have here the stress layer. This is the stress layer. The stress layer is consists of two layers. The first layer has a sukun over it, okay? Which is a small circle above the layer, okay? And the second layer has a short vowel over it, dhamma or fatha or kasra, like that. You see, as in the, in between brackets, okay? So, the first layer has a sukun and the second layer has a short vowel. So, it becomes two layers, one, is sign or a consonant and the other is vowel. So this is a stressed layer. We we put that shadda over it or that you can see here that shadda. As in this example, yashuddu pol consists of dal with a sukun and dal with a dhamma. D and do. So it becomes like that. Do do like that. Okay. Let's move on. This is uh, the examples from the Al Ashamsiya or the of the sun. We have here An Nur. An Nur, which means the light. Second example As Sama. As Sama. As Sama, which means the sky. Third example As Shita. الشتاء, which means the winter. الطريق, 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 which means the road. And the last example, التوت, 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 which means the blueberry. So you can see here we didn't say التوت, we said التوت, التوت, like that. See here, this is this one is going to uh, make you understand more. We, we pronounce the layer alif, okay, followed by the first layer of the noun, as you see here. And nur is pronounced like that. And nur. This is the pronunciation. Okay? And this is the, the original word. You can see here as that a second example, as-sama. as the writing of that, the word, we write it like that. Alif and lam and then the first, the noun, which is as -sama. However, we pronounce it like that. Alif followed by seen with a shadda over it. As-sama. as Like that. Okay? Let's move on to Al-Al-Qamari. Al-Al-Qamari or that of the moon is, pro is defined like that. It is the article the, okay, whose letter, lamb, is written and pronounced. So it allows us to pronounce the first layer of the noun with the short vowel on it. What does that mean? You know that the lamb has a sukun. So it is followed by a layer, which is the first layer of the noun, which has a short vowel over it. Fatha or dhamma or kasra. You can see here the examples. Al asad. The first layer here, the lamb has a sukun over it. And the alif has a fatha, which is the first layer of the word asad. Asad means lion. So the first, the first alif has a fatha over it, a short vowel over it, which is the fatha. So 
a consonant or a consonant lamb or lamb with a sukun followed by alif with a short vowel. It's pronounced like that. Al asad, al asad, al asad. The line. Moving on. Al bahr, al bahr, al bahr, which means the sea. Al qawl, al qawl, al qawl, which means the saying. Al guzur, al guzur, al guzur, which means the islands. You can see lam is pronounced al. And you say the the noun uh, without any interruption. Al guzur, al guzur, and okay. And we did you, we didn't say ag. We did, we said al ga, al ga, like that. Pronounced alif lam, followed by the complete pronunciation of the noun uh, that is connected to al or the. Okay, let's move on. Uh, you have to know that uh, w there are cases that we pronounce the as uh, as um, lam al qamariya al qamariya, and cases we pronounce the as the shamsiya al shamsiya. Okay, the of the sun and the of the moon uh, both have fourteen layers. Okay, these fourteen layers uh, when we find them, we pronounce. The as that of the moon, and some cases we pronounce that as that of the sun according to the first layer of the noun. Okay, so the layers uh, that enable us to pronounce that as that of the moon are 4C, and the layers that enable us to pronounce that as that of the sun are also 4C. Okay, this is uh, so we divided the uh, Arabic alphabet in two parts. The first part is pronounced with the of the moon, and the second part is pronounced with the of the sun. So let's see. Okay, this is the illustration, so as you then can understand. Okay, so what are the layers that when we find them, we pronounce that as the of the moon or al al qamariya in Arabic? We have the layers alif. باء جيم حاء خاء عين غين فاء قاف كاف ميم هاء واو ياء so these are the layers so that when we if they came the first layer of the noun followed by the or al in Arabic we pronounce al as the of the moon and we say al a al asad al bahr al al like that okay so they were con collected in the sentence guha gabi fakka muhu wa waqa guha gabi fak muhu wa waqa Okay, Goha is a stupid. He untied his brain and fell. And this is this sentence. So as you can remember, the layers of al al qamariya or the of the moon. So that when you find any of these layers at the beginning or at the be at the beginning of the noun that we will add al to it, we know that we will pronounce the as the of the moon. Okay, so you have to remember Goha. This is Goha and his uh, donkey. It's one of the heritage uh, in our uh, st uh, stories uh, and tales we say to our children. We, we always remind them of Goha say he as he is stupid and that uh, his donkey always uh, and his donkey is more sure than him and so on. So we just remember it as a tale, as a comedy tale, so as to remember the uh, Arabic language and uh, to become connected to the culture of the tales of the Arabic tales, okay? So Goha is one of these uh, heritages in our culture. Uh, so remember the sentence Goha, Rabi, Fakka, Mukhwa, Waka are the sen it is the sentence that reminds you of Al, the layers of Al Qamariya that when you find them, you pronounce the as the of the moon. 
So what are the layers of the of the sun or in Arabic al shamsiya They are ta, fa, dal, dal, ra, zayn, sin, shin, sad, dad, ta, da, nun, lam. They also for sin. Okay. Now we have to have. I will get you exercises. You have to guess which of these are uh, pronounced as Al Shamsiya and Al Qamariya. So I'll pronounce them for you so as so <laughs> to as to make you sheet and and know which of them are that of the moon and that of the sun and then I'll give you the answer. So we have the first uh, the first word Az Zayt Az Zayt Az Zayt which means the oil remind you that if you found uh, in the signs of the pronunciation of the words the first letter of the uh, of the followed by al or the first letter of the noun has a shadda then it is al ashanti and or al or the of the sun and if you found it has uh, if you found the lamb uh, of al has a sukun followed by the first letter has a short vowel over it then it is al al qamariya or the of the of the of the moon okay so you will know from these exercises so let's start the first word az zayt az zayt az zayt which means the oil second word al arnab al arnab Al Arna, which means the rabbit. Third word, Al Buma. Al Buma. Al Buma, which means the owl. Fourth word, Al Tahin. Al Tahin. Al Tahin, which means the flower. Fourth word, uh, fifth word, a Roman. A Roman. A room man, which means the pomegranate. Six words, al asal, al asal, al asal, which means the honey. Al thalab, al thalab, al thalab, which means the fox. Al limon, al limon, al limon, which means the lemon. The last word, al sukkar, al sukkar. Sukkar, which means the sugar. So pause the video at that moment and try to guess whose words are pronounced as L of the with L Shamsiya or the of the sun and letters pronounced with the of the moon. Okay, pause the video and then I'll give you the answer right now. The answer right here. The words with the, with the moon are Al Arnab, Al which means the rabbit, Al Buma which means the owl, Al Asa which means the honey. The of the sun has uh, Al Zayt which means the oil, Al Tahin which means the flower, Al Ruman which means the pomegranate, Al Thalib which means the fox, Al Limun which means the lemon, Al Sukar which means the sugar. I hope you have understood that grammar rule and you can pronounce L and know when to pronounce it as the of the sun and the of the moon. Bye for now.